How's it going YouTube? I'm back with another video. It seems like my spray box videos are the most popular. So I'm back with another video, you know, about spray box and the methods that I use to generate leads. As you can kind of see with my shirt, because you know, everyone needs leads, bro. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, the method I'm gonna show you today is, um, if you're marketing to a B2B client, um, I'm gonna show you how to you know, scrape for emails for anybody that has a Shopify store within a niche. Um, I use a very simple search operator um, in conjunction with the niche keyword, and it can very easily generate you an email list of 1,000 to you know, 5,000 emails, depending on how many niches that you choose. It's a very simple method. As long as you're marketing the B2B product, it works very well. Seeing as how popular these Scrapebox videos are, I was wondering, if I were to make a scrape box um, course, would you guys buy it? And it would be pretty cheap, maybe 25 bucks, $20, something like that. But I would give you my more advanced, much, much more advanced tutorials. If, if there's any interest, leave a comment below and you know, maybe I'll you know, make one. Anyways, let's get into the video. Before we get into it, I kind of want to show you the method behind the mandis. So I'm at everforwardapparel.com and I just want to show you that this is a Shopify site. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to view page source, I'm going to click control F to bring up the search box and then I'm going to type in my Shopify. And by default, every single Shopify store comes with the, with a dot myshopify.com URL. And if a user decides to have a, you know, just a, their own personal URL, this one is still always going to be present within the code of the site and it will always forward to their URL. So there you go, just to prove the concept. All right, so with that information, we're going to look up dot my Shopify and you can kind of see already that you can see what I'm doing dot com. Then we're going to add in a niche and we're just going to say uh, let's just go fishing since it's there, okay? And you can see that we get 1,930,000 results. Now, all of these are Shopify stores that are in the fishing niche. So with this information, we're going to take this to, let me clear this out. Let me take this to Scrapebox. In the harvester, we're going to put my shop, dot myshopify.com. And you can see I was messing around with fitness, but we're going to do fishing. From here, you're going to click Start Harvesting. You're going to make sure Google is checked. And then you're just going to click Start. And you'll see it is starting to generate URLs. It's already done. We're just going to click Go Back. We're going to click Close here. And then it's always a good idea to click Remove Filter and then remove duplicate URLs so we're not going to be crawling the same site twice. So as you can see, we have 313 currently. We're going to remove the duplicates. And now we're down to 298. All right, so from here, we're going to go to grab check and grab emails by crawling sites. Now what that does is it's going to look for emails in all of these sites that we generated from the crawl. So click that. And before we click start, we want to add a filter. Now I'm sure you guys have seen this list of keywords right here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to set a filter to filter out any emails that have these very generic uh, words in them. So for instance, abuse, admin, assistance, contact, uh, the misspelling of contact, um, customer care, customer service, domain, email, you know, all of these ones that we don't really want to email to them. We don't want to try to build a, a, a custom audience off that within Facebook because we know that nobody's really using that. So we just set the, we set the filter up. And I'll leave these in the description, so look, look for them there. Okay, so close that out after we set them, and then we just click Start. Click Start, and you can see that we're, we're already getting quite a few emails. And let's just see, you know, how much we end up at. We're, uh, you know, a little more than halfway done now. We're already at 50, 60 emails. Uh, we're gonna get to 100. Doesn't look look like it. No, we didn't. We got to 76. 
Let's open this up. And even though it said it grabbed 76 emails, after it filtered out all the junk that we don't want, this is what we're left with. Now it doesn't seem like a lot, but if you're building a B2B list, you can go through to you know 25 different niches and pull and pull emails. So you figure if each niche generated you 25 emails and you're looking in you know 50 niches, that's an email list of 1,250 people and some highly, highly targeted emails. So give this a try. Let me know how it works for you. And as always, if you have any questions, please do reach out and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.